Welcome to the Gold Saucer! Welcome to the Gold Saucer! Are all of you together? A single pass is 3,000 gil. You may also purchase a gold ticket which grants unlimited access for 30,000 gil. Gold ticket. Don't go single pass. Thank you. Please keep in mind that when you leave the gold saucer, a single pass will become invalid. The fee for many of the attractions here is charged in game points. Just think of GP as money that can only be spent at the gold saucer. GP can be won at the Chocobo races and from games at the Wonder Square. You're limited to 10,000 GP, so keep an eye on your total. Please enjoy yourselves! Cheery mood. So just leave me alone. Are you sure? That's too bad. Let's go! Aerith, is it a good idea to just leave? It's better to just act normal when they're like this. Are you sure? Of course! Hey, Barrett, we're gonna go have some fun. Hey, go! Mess around all you like, but we're supposed to be after Sephiroth. Man, at least one of us still remembers that. I made him angry. Nah, don't worry about it. At least he sounded a little more like his usual self. With me? Don't go together. You'd like to go with me? Don't go together. I wish we could just forget everything and have fun. Don't go together. Sephiroth might be around. We better stay on our toes. I'm sorry, but we're currently renovating. Please, come back some other time. Hey, why are you looking so down? Say, how about I read your fortune? You could have a bright future, a wonderful future, but uh, don't blame me if tragedy strikes. <laughs> oh, where are my manners? I'm a fortune teller machine. The name's Can you only read the future? What are you kidding me? I can find missing things, missing people, anything. Then. Can you tell me where a man named Sephiroth is? Sephiroth? Okay, here goes! You have considerable luck. Seek favor with those around you and you may be pleasantly surprised with what the summer brings. What the heck is this? Eh, 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 eh. let's uh, have another shot at it. Remember not to leave things behind. Your lucky color is... Blue? Forget it. Wait, wait! Give me another chance! What the? What does it say? You will find the one you seek, yet lose what you hold most dear. 
How can I tell if that's good or bad? I've never read a fortune like that before in my life. Now I'm all on edge. Right then, shall we be going? Excuse me? Ah, that fortune was way off from the usual readings. I've got to see where this goes, or I won't be able to relax. So listen, I'm coming with you guys. What do you think, Cloud? I'm coming with you, no matter what you say. Hey! They probably told you this at the entrance, but most of the attractions here only take GP. You can't buy game points, though. You can only win them here at Wonder Square, or at the Chocobo races. Sephiroth do this? No. They've all been shot. Sephiroth wouldn't use a gun. <laughs> hey! What happened? Uh, a man with a gun on his arm. A gun on his arm? Hold it right there! Stay nice and quiet! Is this your doing? D no! It wasn't us! Hurry, run! It's going to get ugly! Hey! Seize them. That's as far as you go. Wait! Hear me out! Cloud. One more to go. Yes, sir. Hey, you! Listen to our side of it! There's nothing left to say. You'll pay for your crimes below. Do it. Yes, sir. Cloud, are you alright? <sighs> Where are we? A desert prison. Corel prison. A desert prison? Aye. This place is surrounded entirely by quicksand. I heard that once you got in, you never get out. But I remember there being some sort of special dispensation. Barrett? Barrett. Did you? Stay back! This is something I gotta deal with. Just leave me alone. Whew! You friend of yours? Sure looks dangerous! No! Barrett! He's been shot too. <laughs> Welcome to Corel Prison.
I'll tell you one thing, rookie. That desert is dangerous, all right. It'll welcome you in with open arms. But it's less than sympathetic when you want to leave. On the other hand, it doesn't take kindly to uninvited guests trying to find their way in. Well, so they say. It's best just to stay away from the desert entirely. I don't have time for you. Those guys over there only tell lies. Only lies. Not one of them will tell you the truth. Just try talking to them. You'll soon get sick of it. This elevator goes to the top. But only those chosen for the Jokable races are allowed. This place is heaven. This place is heaven. This place is heaven! You wanna enter the Chocobo races? Yeah. Go get the boss's permission. Who's the boss? What? You don't even know that? Aw, oh, man. You're new here. Then go pay your respects to Mr. Coates. Never seen your face around here before. Looking to go up? Yeah, up. You don't seem to understand how things work down here. This is the Gold Saucer's garbage dump. Which makes all of you lot the trash? The only way to get back on the outside is to win at the Chocobo races. But it's not like you rookies can expect to take part that easy. Of course, if you got the boss's blessing, it'd be a different story. But you'll never get that. <laughs> Did I tell you to not follow me? J just hold on a sec. We only want to talk. You'll understand if you just hear us out. They didn't want none of you involved. Hey, that's Cloud's line. It's too dangerous, I can't let you get involved, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's a little late for that now. We found out what happened and asked to come down here. Come on, Barrett, we need to know what's bothering you. Guys, we heard that the murders at the battle arena were caused by a man with a gun on his arm. Was it you? There's another, another man with a gun on his arm. It was four years ago. That day, I was on my way back home after visiting the Mako reactor under construction. Uh, Barrett, Dine, come quick! The village is under attack! It's Shinra's soldiers! 
What? Take the village. No! Come on, Barry. We gotta hurry. Barry! Yep. Hold him up! You could shoot all day with those rusty pieces of crap and still miss hey, every up. time. Stop playing around and cover me! Watch out! Dad! Don't you dare let go! Do you hear me? You're coming back to the village! Yeah. I'm not letting go. We're going home to our village. Everybody's waiting. Eleanor, Marlene, they're all waiting for. <laughs> Just keep holding on! No! Die! After that, my right arm was next to useless. I thought things through, and decided to have it removed so I can get this gun attached. Got a new right arm to get revenge on Shinra, who took everything away from me. Back then, the doc told me there was another guy who wanted the same operation, except his was the left arm. <clears throat> but doesn't that mean Dime feels the same way you do? Yeah, that's right. He was deceived by Shinra too. I'm sure he'll join us in our fight against them. Dunno, but I do know I gotta apologize to Dine. So, let me handle this. Do whatever you want. At least that's what I'd like to say, but I wouldn't be able to sleep at night knowing that I left you to die here. Barrett, it doesn't have to end this way. Yeah, weren't we gonna save the planet? <laughs> Tifa, you ought to know me better than that by now. It might look like I'm doing it for the planet, but all I'm really after is revenge against Shinra. I want to settle the score. It's alright, I'm not that different myself. It's easy to understand. It's who you are, Barrett. So, Barrett, I guess it'll be you, me, and... A rookie? Then you gotta buy something. Yep, that's the rule here. Bye. <laughs> 
he's been shot too. Don't get cocky. Feel the heat. I'm not holding back. I'm coming for you. Is that you? Now there's a voice I haven't heard in years. A voice I'll never forget. I knew I'd see you again someday. That you'd had an operation and were alive somewhere. Listen, Dad, I need to. Hear a voice. No. It's Eleanor's. I can hear her. She's begging me not to hate your rotten guts. That's why I didn't hunt you down. I know I messed up. I'm not asking you to forgive me. But. What are you doing in a place like this? Killing folk who ain't even involved. Why? Why? What difference does it make? You think having a reason will fix everything? If the people of Corel could hear all of Shinra's excuses, do you think they'd give a damn? I don't need a reason. All we ever get is bullets and bullshit. What's left is a world of despair and emptiness. And that's all. <sighs> you still want to know why. Alright. I'll tell you why. Because I want to destroy everything. This place... Everyone in it... The whole damn world... I got nothing left here. Corel... Eleanor... Marlene... Done. Marlene... Marlene's alive. 
That day, I headed back to the village. I figured it was the end of the line and I just needed to accept it. All I wanted to do was spend my last moments with Myrna. That's when I found her. Your, your daughter, Marlene. <sighs> She's in Midgar. Let's go see her, yeah? So, she's still alive? Alright, Barrett. I guess we gotta fight. What? Eleanor is all sad and lonely. I gotta take Marlene to her. Dad! Are you crazy? Marlene wants to see her mom. Don't she? Stop! Dad! I can't die here! Oh... Yeah? Well, my life ended that day! Stop it! I don't want to fight you! Barret! Cloud, you stay the hell out of it! This is my problem! Me. Just an arm I lost back then. I lost something irreplaceable. Where did it all go so wrong? Dan, I don't either, man. Is... is this the only way we can sort things? I told you. I... want to destroy everything. Everything. This crazy world. Even me. Then what about Marlene? What's going to happen to her? Think about it, Barrett. How old was Marlene back then? Even... Even if I did go see her, she wouldn't understand. And more than that, Barrett... These hands... They're too stained to hold her again. <laughs> Bear it. Give that pendant to Marlene. It was her mother's. My memento of her. <laughs> I will. So. Marlene's already four. Barrett. Don't you ever make her cry. Dine? Dine! different man. My hands, they're just as stained. 
You want something? We want to go up. Like I told you before, you gotta give the boss his blessing. Then we need to talk about it. Don can't talk right now. So I got this instead. Oh. We want to go up. The... Right, right. Did you kill Dain? Uh, you must have. Or you'd never be holding nothing. So, oh, Dine's dead. Maybe now this place will get some peace and quiet. Uh, no one will miss the guy, that's for sure. The hell do you know, huh? Right, 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 right. right. I mean, I don't know nothing. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, sorry. Will you get us out of here now? Huh? Haven't you forgotten something? I already told you. There's only one way out of here. You gotta win at the Chocobo races. Held up there at the Gold Saucer. Uh, only one racer can go up at a time. Say what? Oh, you can badger me all you like. Rules are rules. I cannot change it. If I do, the whole system down here will collapse. I won't let that happen. One of you can go up. After that, it's up to them to sort things out with deal. All right. Cloud, you go. We'll be waiting down here. Hurry up and win that chocobo race. Get us out of here. You can do it, Cloud. Knock on dead. You... you ready? All you need now is a manager. They'll register you and supply the chocobo. Hi. I heard about your story. Esther. I'll be your manager. Well, I'm okay with that, but... This is Esther. She may look a bit funny, but there's no better manager at the races. How rude. Hmm. Anyway, it's nice to meet you, Cloud. All right, then. Go to the elevator by the pillar. Esther will fill you in on the details. I see. So that's what happened. I have a word with Dia. You concentrate on the race. Oh yeah, that's right. What I wanted to say earlier was that anyone can be a jockey. This isn't just a race for criminals. Some compete for fame, others for fortune. And then others live for the race itself. And then there are people like you. Oh, yeah. I need to teach you how to ride a chocobo. I'm not... A newbie, huh? Hi, Joe. Hey, Esther. Looking pretty as usual. <laughs> Thanks. Let me introduce you, Cloud. This is Joe, one of our top chocobo jockeys. Nice to meet you, Cloud. But if you're with Esther, that means... That's right. He might be the next big jockey. He made it up here in just one day. What? what? I see. What did you do, Jenda? Uh, sorry, we're not supposed to inquire about the past here. Anyway, it's very interesting. I have a feeling we'll meet again. Until next time, Club. Okay, I'll go sort out the chocobo. You wait here a moment. I've got nothing to say to you. Don't get cocky. Those pretty little muscles won't help you in the race. The race will be starting shortly. Will the darkies for the next race please proceed to the paddock?
Cloud. Thanks for waiting. I registered you in the next race. I prepared this chocobo myself. It should perform quite well. Do you remember how to ride? Yeah, I got it. How was it again? Yeah, I got it. Good luck. Congratulations, you're a free man. Oh yeah, the manager told me to give you this letter if you want. If you're reading this letter, boy, then you must have won. I know you've earned it. Esther told me about dying. Now that you've won, I can pardon you and your friends. I also have a little gift for you by way of an apology. I hope you'll find it useful on your journey. I'm sorry I couldn't be there in person, but I'm a very, very busy man. Yours sincerely, Uncle Dio. Gift. Hey, Cloud! You're not going to believe this! The manager's assistant just stopped by and dropped off a bucky. Now we can cross over deserts and rivers no problem. We'll be waiting outside. See you soon! Hmm? There's more. P.S. I met Sephiroth the other day. He has a lot of fans your age, or so I've heard. Why don't you go get his autograph? Apparently he's heading for Golgaga, south of the river. Sephiroth. I guess this is goodbye. Listen, if you ever get your own chocobo, please come back and see me. I'll take care of the registration and everything. Hope we'll meet again. To drive the buggy. Press the confirm button to get on. Press the cancel button to get off. Buggies can cross shallow rivers and deserts. You can even enter Costa del Sol and Junon by buggy by hitching a ride on the cargo ship. What may?
Looks like no one's around. We'll come back later. Someone's there. Hey, Rude. Who do you like? What's with the red face? Come on. Who do you like? Tifa. Oh. So, you're in the same boat as Sung, eh? You know, with the ancient girl. Poor Elena. She has a thing for you, yeah? Nah, she's in the song. Really? What the heck are they talking about? They're so dumb. All they ever go on about is who they like or don't like. At least Sung is different. Oh no. Sir, they're here! They came! I see. Then it's time. Rude. No going easy on them because of her, alright? I'll do my duty. Okay. I'm leaving this to you. I'll report back to Sung. It's been a while, eh? This is payback for Sector 7. Out of our way! Sector 7? Out of our way! I don't like being taken for a fool! Enough. That's as far as you go. Make it quick. Make it easy on yourself and give up now. Get back! Make it easy on yourself and give up now. This one's for you. You're finished. Don't take it personal, bitches. Wasn't that a little weird? It's like they were waiting for us. Maybe they were following us. No. There weren't any signs of it. Then that leaves. A Shinra spy? I don't even want to think like that. I trust all of you. There was an explosion at the reactor three years ago. My husband. A ruined reactor. Do you need anything? Not really. I want to stay. It's 80 gil or not.
This is Gonkaga. We lost many of our people when a Mako reactor exploded. We sell weapons on the next floor. You can climb up there using that pole. What can I do for you? Those animals at Shinra build the mech reactor without a second thought for the safety of our village. And this is the result. Are you here to shop? Never mark out any weapons. There was a huge explosion at the reactor. Many of our people were caught up in it and lost their lives. It's been a while since that day, but you can still see the scars it left all over the village. <sighs> Do you need anything? Not really. Got any items? Travelers? Ah, that glow in your eyes. Are you in soldier? You are, aren't you? Then maybe you know our son. His name is Zack. It's been close to ten years now since he left for some city, saying that he didn't want to live in the country anymore. He said he was going to join soldier and just took off. You ever heard of him? Hmm. Nope. Sorry. Young lady, do you know him? He wrote to us six or seven years ago, saying he had a girlfriend. Could that have been you? It can't be. Zack, soldier. What's with those two? To think, he hasn't visited us in ten years. What kind of son is he? Hey! Ever heard of a soldier called Zack? Zack! You know him? N no No idea! You don't sound so sure. It's the truth! I don't! Uh, okay. It just reminded me of you, that's all. Leaving the village, saying, I'm joining Soldier. There must have been loads of guys who said the same thing back then. And to think out of all of those, you made it. I really respect you for that. I just got lucky. Yeah, I worked real hard. Paid off in the end, huh? I'm so proud of you. Thanks for caring about me, Cloud. Earth. Sorry about that. It's just I had no idea Zack grew up in this village. Somebody you know? I told you, remember? The first guy I really liked. Mm. Zack. Soldier, first class. The same as you, Cloud. Strange. There aren't that many who make first class, and I've never heard of him. That's alright. It was a long time ago. I'm just worried because he disappeared. Disappeared? Must be five years ago now. He went on a mission and never came back. Zack is a real ladies' man. He probably met somebody else. Hey, what's wrong? What a slimy... I'd be worried too, I guess. 
What a slimy. Are you jealous? Hmm? Hmm? Are you Cloud? Just kidding. Sorry. I kind of like it if you were, though. Let's go, Cloud. Get in my way, or else. Don't let him stop us. Ruined reactor. It's Scarlet, head of the weapons department. <clears throat> this isn't any good either. You only get crap materia from crap reactors. This reactor is useless. What I'm looking for is big, large, huge materia. Do you know anything about that? I don't, but I'll be sure to investigate it right away. Please. We should be able to make the ultimate weapon if we can get our hands on some. I look forward to it. With Hojo gone, the budget for my department has hit the roof. <laughs> I envy you. But even if we did make the perfect weapon, could that imbecile Heidegger even use it? Oh my. I'm sorry. I forgot that Heidegger's your boss. <laughs> Let's go. Big, large, huge materia? Ultimate weapon? Perfect weapon? Just what are Shinra up to this time? There's something glimmering back there. Reach for it.
We'll make it quick. Man, a breakdown? Now 